Hello YouTubers, my name is Hazel House and I'm back with my third sports entertainment video blog. Uh, today my subject is sort of a subject that's kind of hot right now. It's been talked around in the world of baseball and it's the issue of pine tar. Pine tar is a substance that is like a sticky substance that pitchers have been using for a very long time to get better grip on the ball for making the ball um, spin better for like curve, ball, curve balls, making it break more. Um, and pitchers, like I said, have been using it for a very long time and even batters back more in the 20s, back more 20, 30 years ago were using it uh, for better grip on the bat and such. Um, it sort of resurfaced this year though with um, including the suspension of the Yankees pitcher Michael Pineda. Um, my opinion about pine tar is very much a similar with very much similar with many other analysis um, opinions and that is pine tar although it's an illegal substance I think because it's been around for so long and it hasn't really been dealt with I think the umpires and the league coordinators just need to let it go but in the case of something like Michael Pineda, I, I agree with the decision to s suspend him because just because of the fact that it was so obvious. When you have a huge glop of pine tar on your neck, which is a legal substance, he should know that he's going to get searched or it, it's, it's right out there that the umpire can see it. That's almost sort of disrespectful to the umpire, almost like mocking him, like, oh, you can't do anything because you're not going to do anything. He had been warned or he had been um, seen with the pine tar... Uh, one game before that against the Red Sox, and then his very next game with against the Red Sox, he came out not in the first inning. In the first inning, he gave up three runs, and then in the second inning, he came out with a glove of pine tar on his neck, and he was using it. And um, and John Farrell, the coach of the Red Sox, called the umpire up, and the umpire checked him and ejected him from that game and suspended him, and he was further, later suspended for two more games um, after that two more pitching games. Um, but my opinion is basically, don't use it in an obsessive amount. Use it in like discrete amounts where it doesn't actually have that much of an impact. When you're using it in big globs, it's going to have a bigger at, um, impact. But when you're using it in small amounts like pitchers do today where they have maybe a little bit on their arm or, or even catchers tend to keep some on their shin pads when they, and so they take some off and throw it off on the ball to back to the pitcher. If you use it in sort of a discrete amount, then it's more acceptable, I think, um, than if you just have a huge glob, like you're just disrespecting um, the authority and the rule. But overall, I think it should be allowed just in a discrete manner. That's my opinion on pine tar. Thank you guys for watching, and I um, hope you guys subscribe and like and uh, comment anything you want to see in my newest vlog. I'm always looking for new information and new topics to discuss. And um, so, thanks.